when you unleash your creativity, it's going to follow you everywhere, all the time. And that's a great thing. And no, creativity is not only useful for creatives. You can use creativity to solve other unsolvable and complex issues. And yes, you can learn how to be creative too. It's a skill. So the question is, what even is creativity? And the dictionary explains, the ability to transcend traditional ideas, rules, patterns, relationships, or the like, and to create meaningful new ideas forms, methods, interpretations, and so on. Originality, progressiveness, or imagination. But how can we actually be creative? I like to do three things, or you can say steps, that help my creative juices to flow. First option is to simply be messy. Try out stuff that others tell you not to do or that you think are crazy. Obviously, I'm not telling you to do stuff that could hurt you or others, but to think outside of the box of what is normal in the field you're working in. The process of trial and error is important for you to develop your own creativity. Enjoy the process of experimentation and don't be afraid to fail. It's not the end of the world for us to fail. We learn and can get new and exciting ideas that help us pivot. That's what creativity is all about. My favorite option is to simply let the problem go and start doing other stuff. Like if you can't figure out what to do with your characters in the act 2 of your screenplay, just go for a walk or a short run and the awesome answer will hit you right in your face. My third option is to force myself to do non-creative tasks connected to a specific project. And that helps to ignite my brain. Like if you're feeling you have a creative block for your script, go on and reread what you've written so far and correct grammar mistakes. When you get to your blank page, you will already be in the writing zone and will be able to write. Or like when you're doing sports, you might feel like not doing it at the moment, but because you force yourself, after a few minutes you start to enjoy it. Oh, and there's one more important step that really helps boost creativity. Put some limits around your project or idea, because if you don't, you will be overwhelmed with all the options and will not be able to be creative. We are most creative when we have some limitations and are forced to do the best we can in that limitation box. Your limitation can simply be the time you're willing to spend for a specific task. But don't stress yourself out with too many limitations as that will backfire and kill your creativity. So basically, you have to erase the thinking from schools where we were usually taught that there is only one right answer and be ready to fail. A lot. If you're not willing to be wrong, your creativity can't blossom as you will only do what other people created for you. There will be no originality in what you do. With creativity, you will not only shine brighter than everybody else, but you will feel pride when you figure out and solve various problems. You will also boost your creativity if you start learning and doing stuff from totally different fields. Like if you're a painter, but you start martial arts. The moves you learn might help you develop new painting techniques or simply change one element of your process. In painting, you can change a brush for a fork, a canvas for glass, and so on. If you want to skyrocket your screenwriting creativity, but have no idea where to start, you can join my practical screenwriting basics course, where you will learn everything from how to analyze films, how to get in shape ideas, how to develop your story and characters, how to use screenwriting software, how to prepare documents for producers, and how to specifically write for short and feature films as there are distinct differences. If you want to learn more, just click the link in the description. Now, it's up to you to challenge your creativity. And if you want to get notified and support my channel, like and subscribe right now. Svidmo and action!